What's up guys? Welcome to your 84th Android tutorial for the new boss and what we're going to do in this tutorial is again set up just kind of a small application uh, that deals with tabs. Something like this is our desired result. Um, but uh, for this tutorial we're just going to set up the XML uh, layout. So I want you guys to create a tabs class or a class called tabs and then also a Android XML file called tabs as well, lowercase, for our layout. And then once we go into our layout, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here into our composite, and there's something called a tab host. That's what we're going to drag and drop into our project here. And again, we get kind of an error because uh, they haven't really updated the SDK or the ADT, I should say, um, yet for the 2.2 platform. So a quick fix that we can do to kind of get a visual, um, just like last time we had this kind of error, but uh, you, we could have done this last time to get a kind of a visual, is go up here to basically the way that we're viewing it. And we're going to view it through the Honeycomb platform or the 3.0 platform. It'll kind of give us a layout. And it still will work on an emulator once we have it set up, but or your phone or whatever. It's just the, the ADT for Android, for Eclipse, I should say. And then so we're going to go up here and then we're going to select Android 3.0 and this is kind of the desired result. We have three tabs up here and a view of some sort. And if you guys don't have this choice, again, that's just from the window tab and then Android SDK AVD Manager. Go to Available Packages, Android Repository, and then select the 3.0 um, platform um, and then install it. Pretty simple. Uh, then you can have that option right there. So let's go into it and see what is important here uh, with the tab host and how it works. Um, basically what we have is a firstly we're just going to start within the smallest little brackets here. We have a frame layout and again the frame layout allows us to draw on top of each other. So what we're going to do, well first let's just uh, kind of describe everything. Frame layout is going to hold our three tabs or even more if you guys want to put more tabs. Um, it has three linear layouts right now. None of those linear layouts ha have anything within them. And we also have a tab widget that kind of holds that all. Um, we have this tab widget right here, which kind of aligns our th all of our tabs in, in a row of some sort. So that's what that is. And then we have a linear layout here um, that kind of holds everything together, which is uh, organized by this this thing called a tab host. So the tab host basically controls everything and organizes it. And I'll show you guys, you'll learn more about what the tab host is in Java when we get there. But let's kind of set up this these tabs that have something um, just so we know what we're, we're working with here. So we're going to go into the graphical view. We're going to say... Um, for right here we're just going to lay out two buttons and a text view. Uh, nothing awesome for the most part, uh, mainly this tutorial is again about the tab. So here we have oops, here we have the two buttons and the text view that we laid out. And as you can see that's within our first tab, um, this first linear layout. So again let's just co uh, cut this text view or copy this text view and post it within um, our second linear layout just so we have something there so we're going to say text view 2 something like that or yeah text view 2 and then as well as for a third application we're going to say text view 3 just so we know there's something different within each of those tabs and um, oops. I didn't put that one within the layout here. So, and now what's going to happen? Or first, let's kind of set up these buttons, and then I'll show you guys what problems we're having. We're going to say start and stop for the two buttons, and button start watch and stop watch, because we're just going to build a quick stopwatch application should take only one one tutorial or so um, but we're just going to set up our variables 
and we aren't really going to worry about all the other variables. Maybe this text view will change that one as well. Text view, um, show results, something like that. And uh, basically all the other IDs we aren't going to really worry about. But it is pretty critical. I guess we have one more ID that we have to worry about. Sorry. But there is something that, that's pretty important here that we want to make sure is is the same every time you guys do a tab host type of deal or if we're coding this all by ourselves just like at the beginning of the series where we would um, when you with this tab widget right here you want the ID to be this at Android ID forward slash tabs it has to be that um, it's just gonna give us some kind of the basic layout of the tabs um, when we go into Java so you guys want to make sure that that ID is referenced by the tabs and also the frame layout as you can see here is referenced by the tab content um, at Android ID tab content and then for a tab host we're actually going to change this one we're going to say at plus at plus ID forward slash tab host um, we're just going to leave it like that instead of the Android ID tab host. Um, so we're just again setting up our own reference for the tab host and I'll explain that all in Java but now what I've done is I've just set the content view to uh, in our Java class so I set the content view to this XML layout here I just want to show you guys if we run the application now it might not be what you expect and the next tutorial we'll get it running um, and set up basically what's happening again the frame layout uh, let's just open it up as you can see we you can kinda see this text view 2 um, right here and also uh, it's printed above our start and stop right here so I mean that's not exactly what we want basically what's happening is that frame layout printing everything at once we aren't even getting the tabs up here nothing's really looking the way we want it to but that's fine because everything else that we're gonna do is gonna be in Java and it's gonna set up everything the way that we want it to be set up so I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial where we're gonna do that and have a good one peace